and welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star of the Flippin' Hippo, and today is Monday, February 24th. Because it's a Monday, that means it's time for What's Sold on eBay! Just like every week, guys, we're going to take a stroll through our Instagram and look at our photos of our packages each day, and then we'll jump over to eBay where I have selected some of the highlights of our sales from the week to show you guys. I got a lot to show you this week, so we're just gonna jump right on in. You're looking at today's photo from this weekend. Inside these two Ikea bags are 33 packages with 36 items inside. We had 33 eBay sales and three on Poshmark for the weekend. And last Tuesday, we had 40 packages, 38 eBay sales, and two on Poshmark. This was for a three-day weekend. As you guys know, Monday, there was no shipping for the holiday. And then on Wednesday, we had 10 packages. Nine of those were eBay sales. One was Poshmark. Thursday, we had nine items and eight packages, eight eBay sales, one Poshmark. And on Friday, we had 11 packages, eight were eBay sales, and three on Poshmark. So we've had a pretty good week. Both this weekend and last weekend were really good. Uh, sales are definitely picking up for us. So let's jump into the highlights from the week. We're going to start with the plush because they're my favorite. And we always start with them. So we'll start with Mickey Mouse here. You guys are looking at an 11-inch Mickey Mouse by Just Play. The Just Play Disney plush are not worth as much as the official Disney store or Disney parks. In fact, I don't typically pick up the Just Play anymore. Um, this one's kind of older. He was 50 cents at the Goodwill. He sold for $10, or sorry, he sold for best offer of $8 and shipped in a poly bag first class. Next we have this Gans Webkins Black Horse with his sealed code. And these Gans Webkins, just like I've, t I think I've said this before, um, they're hit or miss. Some of them with the codes are worth um, less than some that don't have codes. It just depends on the animal and the character. When I find them for 50 cents, I pick them up, bring them home. Uh, this one was 50 cents, I sold for $10.31 and shipped first class in a poly bag. Next we have this Beanie Boos Unicorn. Her name is Wishful. Super cute. She was 50 cents at the Goodwill and she sold for $8.43 and shipped first class in a poly bag. Then we have this Scooby-Doo. He came from a yard sale. Uh, I want to say 2018. So he's pretty old. He's been around for a while. There was a yard sale we went to and this woman had a ton of Scooby-Doo plush. She ended up giving all of us, uh, us all of her Scooby-Doo plush uh, for a really good deal. It came out to about 15 cents a Scooby-Doo. This guy has been around for a while. Most of them sold right away. They were more unique. We had like a Scooby snack, hamburger, plush. There was a Scooby-Doo that had like an outfit on. Anyway, this guy sold for $9.99 on a best offer and he shipped in a poly bag first class. And now we're gonna look at some Smurfs. Both of these Smurfs came from the Goodwill. Each one was 50 cents. This one is Grouchy. And he's got an official Smurfs tag. And this one is the Vanity Smurf. He's got his little mirror, super cute. And he's also an official Smurfs plush. One buyer bought both Smurfs and spent $31.24 on the two. So approximately $15 a piece. And they shipped first class. I wrapped them up together in some tissue paper and they went in a poly bag and they were still under like eight ounces. So that was a pretty good return on investment for the Smurfs. Now we're looking at an Angry Birds Ice Cube plush. Some of these Angry Birds guys, they are definitely worth picking up and worth some money. This guy, you can see how small he is, barely five inches, four inches, and uh, was 50 cents at the Goodwill. 
sold for $16.99 and shipped first class. And this is the most exciting plush of the week. This one was just sourced last weekend. This is My Noon. He is an official Tomy Pokemon plush. Tomy is one of the Pokemon brands I um, do recommend picking up. It's a Bolo. Tomy, the Pokemon Center, uh, are some good brands for Pokemon. So My Noon was 50 cents. He sold for $28.12 overnight after I finally got him up. He uh, was not listed right away. He sat around, sat around for a couple days before he got listed. He sold right away. $28.12. Spent $0.50. Cents. So he was a really good flip. And he shipped first class. Alright guys, we're going to get into some of the clothes. This is a Bowdoin women's top. Uh, Bowdoin is a brand that you should be looking for. This, this particular Bowdoin top was 100% uh, wool. And I got it for 99 cents at the Goodwill and sold it for a best offer of $15 and it shipped first class. Now we have a Jay Garcia tie. We got a whole bunch of Jay Garcia ties at a church sale uh, along with some Donald Trump and some uh, Robert Talbot, I believe, and some others. We got a ton of ties that day. They came out to about a quarter a piece. And uh, this particular one sold for thirteen dollars and twelve cents and shipped first class. This is a Free Planet shirt. We got this at I want to say Ross, but it could have been TJ Maxx. Um, we have a Ross, a Marshalls, and a TJ Maxx all together in one shopping center, and. A couple times a year we'll hit all three in one day and just kind of look around and see if there's anything. This, when we got this shirt on this trip, we had uh, David and Bill, who you guys might know as Gnome and the Frog. They're one of the moderators here on the channel and very good friends of mine. They had come out to visit and we went to all three with them to go sourcing. Um, but I think it came from Marsh, or TJ Maxx, but it came from one of those stores, Retail Arbitrage. And we picked it up because it was a good size. It's a 4X and it was new with tags. We spent, I think it was like two, two or three bucks on it. And it sold for $24.94 and shipped first class. These seven for all mankind jeans came out of a thread up box. So they averaged out to about $1.78 per pair in that box. These are a nice button fly. The Seven for All Mankind Dojo jeans are a huge bolo. They go for a lot more money. The Seven for All Mankind jeans that aren't dojo, I would still say they're a bolo, but they're not going to be high dollar or a lot of money. They're kind of like better than bread and butter, but not quite a home run. I do pick up Seven for All Mankind when I find them, though. And the, uh, the button flies on any brand of jeans, the button flies, I always do really well with. I usually add a couple of dollars to the price because um, I feel like the button flies add value. This pair sold on a best offer for $25 and shipped in a padded flat. So those of you that watched my latest unboxing when I got a thread up box uh, about a week ago, um, I pulled these out and I said in the live sh the live unboxing video, I said, well, I think Angel's typically a poop brand, but these ones are super cute. The style on them with these little front pockets here and the huge bell-bottom flare legs. I said, I'm going to put these in bread and butter just because the style is so cute, even though I don't typically source Angel's jeans and I kind of feel like it's a poop brand. So these were about a dollar, dollar eighty, dollar seventy-eight um, for the individual pair when you averaged up the price of the box. They sold overnight, so a pair of jeans that I said, well, maybe they're poop. I'll put them in bread and butter. Uh, by the time I finally got them measured, photographed, and listed in the store, they sold overnight for twenty-four dollars and thirty-seven cents, and they did ship in a padded flat. Side note, uh, Megan Mawinney, you guys know, are probably familiar with her. She was a guest on the channel last week. 
in a video where we talked all about jeans and pricing jeans. Um, Megan's very knowledgeable on jeans. On that live unboxing video, she did comment and said that she likes Angel's jeans and she considers them bread and butter and she does source them. It's kind of funny that I would call them poop. Well, being that these sold overnight for $24.37, I believe I will be now be adding Angel's jeans into my bread and butter repertoire. So I thought that was kind of funny. It could have been a fluke. I could have just listed the right pair of jeans and the right size at the right time when a buyer was looking for them. Or it could have been the style. But I do feel like if I see Angel's jeans for $0.99 cents when we're outsourcing, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up from now on. All right, so we are going to show you four pairs of capris. Um, these are Chico's capri jeans. They're not the so lifting or so slimming or anything special. They're just capris. And then we have a pair of Indigo Rain capri jeans. This is a brand I don't even source anymore, but these were cute. And a pair of Levi's 545 capris. And another pair of Levi's women's capri jeans. The reason I'm showing you all four pairs is because one buyer bought all four pairs of the capri jeans. Um, each pair was 99 cents, so we had a total cost of around four bucks in for all four pairs. Three of them had free shipping, one of them had $8 shipping, but the overall cost for all of the capris was $42. So the buyer paid $42 in total for four pairs and we got them into a medium flat rate for 12 I think it was like 12.85 to ship them in the medium flat um, if I'm wrong someone can correct me in the comments because I can't offhand remember exactly how much the medium flat cost but it was $12 and some change by weight because these went all the way to Arizona by weight these would have been like 15 16 to ship so the medium flat rate was the best way to go cost wise because I couldn't get all four in a pad of flat um, but I do like when sales like this happen you know you got like four pairs of so so bread and butter stuff you know you got four dollars in on them and um, forty two dollars for all four twelve dollars to ship so that was a nice flip and I always love when one buyer buys a lot or you know at least multiples so we had two of those this week. We had the one buyer by the two Smurfs, and then we had the one buyer by the four Capris. All right, guys, now we're looking at some citizens of humanity. These also came in the most recent thread up box that I just opened a week ago. And the same box as the Angels jeans, so these were about $1.78 a pair. They are also button fly. I love button fly jeans. So these are the citizens of humanity, um, Emerson Slim boyfriend jeans so definitely keep your eyes peeled for Emerson slim boyfriend by citizens of humanity with the button fly I think citizens of humanity is a bolo brand to begin with um, I always pick up citizens of humanity when I find them but this particular style the Emerson slim boyfriend sold overnight so like the other citizens of humanities I've I've uh, sourced you know they're long tail they take a little while to sell but these along with the angel jeans were listed in the same day and sold overnight so that tells me again it could have just been right place right time or maybe these Emerson Slim boyfriend jeans are really popular um, and flip a little bit faster so they sold for $41.24 and they shipped in a pad of flat all right now we have some true religion Super duper bell bottom jeans. These are awesome. Um, like super. These are like totally 70s jeans all the way. They remind me of um, just like hippies in the 70s that you see in like movies and stuff. I think they're super cute. I love this style of jean personally. Anyway, these ones I believe we got in Florida for like three or four bucks, I want to say. And they sold for a best offer of $40 and shipped in a padded flat. And we're going to look at some shoes now. These are Soft Styles Hush Puppies. I picked them up at the Goodwill because they were only 99 cents. And they're cute. They had some flaws. 
I took a best offer of 15 on them and they did ship first class. So I just wrapped them in bubble wrap and tissue paper and put them in a poly and sent them on their way. And now we have some Dockers. These are men's Docker shoes. Pretty nice looking shoes. These came from the Goodwill as well. 99 cents. Picked them up because Dockers is an okay brand. It's pretty run of the mill bread and butter. Um, and they were nice looking. They they looked really good. Um, see the bottoms of the shoes look hardly worn at all. And so they sold for a best offer of 18 plus the buyer paid shipping in addition to that. All right, you guys are now looking at a dress. <laughs> this is a dress. It's like when I do my uh, haul videos and I can't find the tag. This is a dress. So this came out of a wholesale box we bought last summer. You haven't heard about this box in a while because most everything from that box has sold. But for the longest time, for you longtime viewers, this was the box I referred to as the box that keeps on giving. Um, I don't even remember, it was like 60 bucks for the whole box, had a ton of stuff in it. Uh, it has just been pure profit after the first couple of items out of that box. So this is something I'd never heard of. It was in there. It's a Bailey 44. It's an anthropology brand. Um, I'm not that familiar with dresses. I don't flip dresses a lot. If I get one in a box like that or I find one at the Goodwill that I know is good, you know, for a good price, I will pick them up and flip them. I'm not opposed to flipping dresses, but I don't go out of my way to source them the way I do jeans and plush. But uh, this particular one, it's been up for a couple of months. And it sold for $32.49. And the average cost per piece out of that box was $2 and some change, like $2.12. So that was a nice flip. Um, it was a pretty long tail, but um, now I know that Bailey 44 is an anthropology brand. And by the way, you guys, you know anthropology has a ton of different brands and names that they put their clothes out. If you check the RN number, it's 66170. So if you ever find a piece of clothing that you're not familiar with and it has the RN number 66170, that is an anthropology brand. So definitely grab them when you find them. This dress did ship first class. Okay, guys, now we have this Tommy Bahama reversible orange and black half zip pullover new with tags. Keith picked this up at the Goodwill. It was five dollars the funny part about this though is it fell off of ebay so long ago um and i never got it back up so when we first started going through our death piles and then double checking our inventory last year towards the beginning of september i had pulled this out of a bin that i was doing inventory on and discovered it was not listed on ebay anymore but it was still on poshmark and I made the mental note to cross post it back from Poshmark to eBay using List Perfectly, of course. And it sat, um, it sat in the eBay room for since September. And it just never, I never got around to it. You guys kind of know how that is. Sometimes things just pile up, which is how we get death piles. But anyway, finally, about two weeks ago, I went through the pile of stuff that was sitting there I needed to get to. Got it cross posted back over to eBay from Poshmark. And it took hardly any time to sell at all. And it sold for $34.99. It did go in a padded flat, though, because it was pretty big and heavy. Um, but it, I just kind of wonder if I had have gotten on top of it right away, like back in September when we were coming into fall and the colder months, if it would have sold right away back then. Or if it just was one of those things where when I listed it, it was the right time. Um... But yeah, you guys, I'm always telling you, you know, make sure you get through your death piles. Make sure you check your inventory. But just make sure you don't let things like that pile up. Because sometimes we tend to do that. And then you finally get around to it and it sells right away. And you're like, man, that could have been something that sold already. All right, so now we are looking at this Bulwark um, fire-resistant shirt. I did mention this in the live show last week uh, where Megan was the guest. We were talking about... Pricing high and not accepting lowball offers. And I 
used this shirt as an example. I had someone that didn't want to pay more than 20 for it. Made it very clear in their offer. They will not pay a dime more. <laughs> That's what they said. I will not pay a dime more. So I did decline it. I don't decline offers as a rule. I like to counter because it gives you that free boost in the searches. Um, but sometimes if they kind of make it very clear, I'm not coming up anymore. This is my final offer. I will decline them because clearly they're not going to come up to where I want to be. And um, so about 15 minutes after I declined his offer, it sold for full price, $35.99. So that was exciting. Um, the other thing about this shirt is it came out of a bin when we were doing inventory and um, wasn't listed on eBay. I found it about two weeks ago. I found it when I was going through inventory. It wasn't listed on eBay. I said, I got to get this up. So about two weeks ago, I took the photographs of it, got it back into eBay, and then it sold within a couple of weeks. So these fire resistant shirts like this, there's fire resistant jeans, anything that has um, the fire resistant ratings on them, they are definitely bolos. I've had a couple of pair of like flame resistant Wrangler jeans that went for a lot. So definitely these flame resistant clothing, definitely they're a bolo. Um, grab them. But this shirt, you know, this shirt is of several lessons in one. Check your inventory. Stuff falls off because clearly this did. I got it back in and it sold within two weeks. Um, and, you know, you don't have to accept lowball offers. You are well within your right to price high, wait for the right buyer, and you don't have to give in to those lowball offers um, because clearly it sold for full price right after. I don't remember where we sourced this from or how much it was, though. So it could have been off of eBay that long that I just don't remember it. But it was a good sale. So uh, make sure you guys are going through your inventory and... Uh, you know, if you know what something is worth and what you want for it, don't feel pressured by lowball offers. You can hold out. All right, these Paisley jeans came out of a thread up, so they were about a dollar seventy. Size sixteen. Um, I had another pair of Paisley a couple months ago that Key's sister had given to us to sell. And it did pretty well. So I kind of consider Paisley's like one of those bread and butter brands that I probably wouldn't go out of my way to source. But if I stumble across them in a, in a box or, you know, they're given to me or whatever, I'll take them. I, and you can see how much they sold for. So maybe I should be sourcing for these. Maybe the Paisley's guy and the Angel's jeans are something I need to start looking for on 99 cents day. And, uh consider them bread and butter these paisley sky jeans were a size 16 so they're a good size and um they sold for 27 dollars and 55 cents and they shipped in a padded flat and then we have a lucky brand zoe boot cut these were sourced from the goodwill they were 99 cents these sold within a couple of days of being listed um these were a recent thing we've only been sourcing again for three weeks now since we got through all of our death piles so these aren't even a month old they went up they sold really really i was trying to say relatively and really <laughs> they sold relatively quickly uh within a couple of days of being listed for 21 dollars 18 they shipped in a padded flat i have a ton of lucky brand jeans that sit they are very long tail typically lucky brand takes a while to sell don't know what it was about these um, but as you can see, the theme through this week, as I've showed you all of these items, that seems to have been the theme this week. We had a lot of items that sold within a couple of days or overnight or, you know, really quickly from being listed. So I don't know if we were just listing all the right things at the right time, but it was a really good week to see a lot of stuff go that fast because they're usually long tail and you're you're prepared you're ready to sit on them knowing they're long tail and then they go quicker and you're like woo that's exciting yay okay we're gonna look at a pair of guest jeans now i did bring these up in the live show last tuesday i love guest jeans they are definitely a bolo for bread and butter so don't spend a lot of money on them i pick them up when they're 99 cents uh the Foxy Flare, which is what these are, 
and the Daredevil boot are the ones I do the best with. This pair also sold within a few days of being listed, so that was exciting too. These were 99 cents, sold for $20.99. So I do love the guess. I get any guess I find for 99 cents. I just do really good with them. But if you see the Daredevil boot or the uh, Foxy Flare, those are the two styles that I do the best with. And now we're down to the three remotes I picked out to show you from the week. Just to give you guys a, a, a overall of how our remotes are doing, they're still holding steady at a 1% sell-through rate. We sold 23 remotes last week. That comes out to about three per day and a 1% sell-through rate. So the remotes are doing what they should be doing. They're an electronic. They should have a 1% or higher sell-through rate. We're selling an average of three a day. So those are doing really well. If you're new to the channel and you didn't know, we bought wholesale, a wholesale pallet of 3,000 remotes back in September. We're steadily working our way through them. They averaged out to 52 cents a piece. And I try to pick out a couple every week to show you that um, flip for a little bit higher because most of you aren't going to stumble into an opportunity where you can buy a whole bunch at once for very cheap. And if you're buying them one or two at a time, you want to be a little more selective and get the higher, the higher cost ones, um, more bang for your buck when you're, you know, buying them as one-offs or whatever. So this is a genuine Toshiba DVD VCR combo remote. There's its model number if you want to make note of that to look for when you're outsourcing. This one sold for $19.99. Then we had this uh, JVC TV remote. There's its model number. It sold for $16.99. And then we had a Sony Tony. Sony Tony. <laughs> a Sony TV VTR remote control. There's its model number. Whoops. And this one sold for $24.99. So keep an eye out for those, you guys, when you're out at your estate sales, your church sales, your yard sales. These are some good remotes that you can... You know, if you can get for a buck or less, um, they're a good flip if you're just, you know, buying them one at a time. If you ever have the opportunity to buy a whole bunch for really cheap, get them all. Get them all. Because even if they're, some of them only sell for seven or eight bucks, if you have a whole bunch of them that you got at a really great wholesale price, you more than make your money back. Um, so that's all I had to show you this week. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing. What are your sales doing? Um, it's been really good around here, knock on wood, past couple of weeks. Things have been steadily, steadily getting better, selling more, getting back up to where we should be after that kind of lull that everyone had. So I want to hear from you guys and see how you're doing too. And uh, hit the thumbs up before you leave, guys. It really helps the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. Join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link in the box down below. Um, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos on all social media. And you can always email me at help at gmail.com. And until next time, go make some money, guys. Go be productive. Thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.